All right, Pisces, let's do another reading. Let's see, what is the weekend tea? What is the tea for my Pisces for the weekend? Holy Spirit, Angel, and I, God, Universe, and Sustas, and the Highest of the Most High. You are welcome in the reading for the sign of Pisces. Let's see what messages we got for y'all today. Going down on the weekend. What is the tea for the Piscean Collective for the weekend? So we've got photo proof, getting evidence. Oh my. We've got crying over you. Oh my. So someone here could be in their feels over the weekend, feeling sad, hurt, upset, etc. There could have been some type of photo proof or somebody could have gotten some type of evidence or they will or they have. I don't know. Can you tell me more? Tell me more. Somebody could have also seen some type of picture or proof. I don't know. Head in the clouds. Yeah, someone's someone's head is up in the clouds. Okay. Covering up his face. There we go. Her face, his face, whatever. Someone's head is in the clouds. Someone's crying over someone, feeling upset, sad, and their emotions. Let's see. What else? We've got more. Marrying for money. Haven't seen that one in a while. And then blocked on Facebook. 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 Someone may have blocked somebody. Okay. Someone may have married someone for money. Let me know how that works out for you. And bad reputation. Shit. Someone may have a bad reputation for like marrying for money. Good Lord. Has someone done this over and over or what? Legal issues, court, judges, immigration, lawyers, etc. Pisces. Damn, someone see some like this is crazy. I don't know. Did someone see some type of messages here? And someone's realizing that someone may have married for money or and they're hurt, they're sad, they're upset, they're crying. I don't know. Someone made a uh, two of wands in uh, the knight of wands. Someone made some type of impulsive choice or someone did something very quickly. Okay, show me photo proof. Why is this here? Photo proof, please. Nine of wands. Nine of wands. Saggy energy. Tell me more. Tell me more. There's that two of wands. So someone here is definitely feeling guarded, maybe even in, we, insecure. Uh, four coasts. Can talk about regret, can talk about missed opportunities, bored, discontent with some type of a choice that was made. Or someone regrets making a choice, some type of a choice. Someone here feels like a magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. So. What is the magician? The lovers. Gemini. Strong Gemini energy is here. Um, strong energy of a decision here surrounding a partnership or love or choices. But someone here may be feeling like... Oh, someone feeling wounded. Someone manifested some type of a soulmate connection and now they're bored and discontent with whatever choice was made mm. show me crying over you crying over you queen of swords aquarius libra gemini energy the eight of swords reverse so somebody may have cut someone off okay somebody Somebody, yeah, someone may have communicated, like, I want out of a situation. 
Eight of Swords in the reverse is like a release from some type of a mental prison or a situation that you feel like you're trapped in. Death card on the bottom, Scorpio. Some Something here is ending, changing, transforming. Someone's ending something with a toxic connection, a toxic person, or something that felt binding. Someone's releasing themselves from this. Someone's making a head-over-heart decision to cut someone out, cut someone off, speak some type of truth here. Show me crying over you. I still don't see you out here, Pisces, but two of swords. Someone here may have had rose-colored glasses on, or someone here, um, this is the two of swords, the king of wands. So there could have been an Aries Leo Sagittarius who could have been indecisive or not making a choice or a decision, and so someone made a decision for someone to cut someone out, cut someone off, release themselves from whatever shit they felt stuck in or stuck to or bound to or whatever. Show me marrying for money. Hmm. Ace of Cups. Well, that's that's low. Um, okay. Marrying for money. Marrying for money. Five of Cups. Someone may regret taking some type of new beginning in love. There goes that quick moving action or communication. Someone may have a... Uh, Someone could have rushed into a new beginning in love as well. And now they regret this. Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups. It's like someone may have rushed into a new beginning in love here. I mean, it looks like love. Someone's cup is overflowing. But then there's regret. So... Yeah, damn, three swords. Uh, someone could, the three of swords can talk about a breakup, a separation, alienation, third party, heartbreak. Someone could have been looking at other options. Someone didn't see the two of cups. Someone may want to rush in and start something new, but uh, I don't know. Ten of Cups, the Empress, the Temperance. I don't know. Someone, there could be someone here who's very single, fertile, abundant, like an earth angel, kindred spirit. Someone may want to heal something with someone, but it would be a third party. Or someone regrets putting someone in a third party. Or There could also be some information that came in rather quick or will come in rather quick. And it could be disappointing, heartbreaking, saddening. But the Ace of Cups is here. What's this Ace of Cups spirit? The Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, marrying for money. Okay. For the love of money. Here we go with the bone thugs. Is that even bone thugs? By the love of money, it is. I don't know how old they are nowadays, but someone could be like, someone may have grown up during that era or something. I wonder if this correlates with the reading I just did. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Show me this Knight of Swords. Aquarius, they were Gemini energy. The Sun, Leo energy. I don't know, the sun, the ten of pentacles, the ace of cups. This is like happiness. This is freedom. Um, a new beginning in love where there's a lot of abundance of, of, you know, building some type of legacy, a family. But then there's regret and three swords. Like, how the hell? 
caring for money. I don't know. Five months. Stop it. Turn on my wall. What the hell's wrong with you, girl? Um, I don't know. Someone here could be chasing. Maybe that's what makes someone happy. So why is someone all butthurt then? If this is what you wanted, why is someone butthurt? The Justice and the Empress. Because someone's receiving some type of growth or because someone's fucking happy? I don't know. Justice. Libra. Strong Libra energy. Motherly energy. Someone's getting... Some type of abundance, fairness. Someone's, someone may. Re oh. Someone could have married someone for money, and now somebody's like. So, if someone married for. Okay. If someone married someone for money, someone may have like. I don't know. There could be maybe an air sign or doesn't have to be, but this Knight of Swords can sometimes be aggressive. Be be aggressive. Someone here could have, like, I don't know if someone married for, for money and then now someone's upset because someone's getting everything that they ever wanted. Ace of Cups, the Sun, the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, the Justice card. It's like somebody's getting some type of whatever is right. Someone's getting some type of fairness. Someone's getting justice. So if someone put someone in a third party and they were married, but it was only for money, it wasn't love, someone else is feeling regretful now because someone else is going to get... Whoever got betrayed, I don't know. Uh, Y'all know your story better than I do, but I do feel someone's regretful for like, Drawing someone into a third party or breaking someone's heart for looking at other options. And I don't know, was someone angry that someone's getting everything that they, I mean, shit, the sun, the ace of cups, the ten of pentacles, the empress and the justice card. Someone's about to be fucking happy as shit. Like, and have some, their cup overflowing. Somebody could have been indecisive. You got um, strong air sign, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, maybe a Virgo. You also got Libra. What did I say? Gemini, yeah, Libra, Taurus, possibly. Leo is here. Could be dealing with one of those signs or you have that in your chart or whoever this other person does. I don't know. Show me bad reputation. Someone's got a prickly reputation. The hair font, Taurus energy. Hair font in the upright is, you know, it's a good card. That's so. Four of Swords, Eight of Wands. Five of Pentacles, Three of Coins showing itself. Something here is moving forward. Judgment. Someone's healing. Maybe from somebody who has a bad reputation. Someone's moving forward and starting something new. Like there, there's a gift from the divine here. Someone's going to be resting easy, sleeping well. Um... Someone here could also be getting some type of new business contract.
Someone could travel for some type of an opportunity, a contract, a marriage. Someone could be getting proposed to. What's this Four of Swords energy? The Emperor, Aries energy. Aries Taurus is here. Damn, and Ten of Cups, what is going on? I don't even know what to say. So this Emperor... What does that have to do with bad reputation? This is fabulous energy. I don't know, emperor to empress. Someone could be moving into like, uh, like a very healing connection brought to the, <laughs> brought to you by the divine. Okay. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Something here is moving forward. There's some type of an offer or proposal. I don't know what it has to do with bad reputation, but. I don't see any bad reputation energy here. Unless someone's healing. I don't know. Someone could be trying to stop somebody from having this. I don't know, Pisces. I just, I don't even see your energy out here. You got the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Mm. I just feel like somebody's. Someone who may have been indecisive about you. I don't even know. Why does Pisces even need to know this? Who's this? I don't, I don't even want to ask that because I could just go down a rabbit hole. I feel like somebody feels blocked from like all outlets of like communication. And it has somebody in their in their head, in their mind. Someone feels like they, they missed an opportunity for like a soulmate connection, something that could have been very harmonious. I don't know if this marrying for money is a bad thing. Like, well, I don't know. Maybe someone's marrying. I don't even want to say that because if this is emperor and empress, it's like, I don't feel like anybody's marrying for money. This is like your divine counterpart. This is both y'all got it going on. I don't know what to tell you, Pisces. I'm going to let this reading go, but I just feel like somebody here, I don't know if somebody's seeing something, getting some type of proof, or somebody's going to have to watch somebody go into like a very happy, abundant, fertile, fair, like power couple, power vibes, and someone's going to be upset crying over this because I don't know. Did someone marry someone else for money? And now they feel. Like they lost their chance because they didn't want to make a choice. I mean, obviously they made a choice then, right? What the hell is this two of swords over here? What's this two of swords? The king of cups. So someone could have had a choice between two, an Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Seven of Swords reversed. 
Yeah, the Eight of Swords in reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody's like, somebody's somebody's getting caught up, or somebody there's something here being exposed about something that maybe somebody was hiding or keeping hidden. Um, I feel like this. I don't know. All these individuals is in the upright. What was I asking again? Someone can't be sneaky no more. I don't know. I just feel like someone realizes the truth. And someone's releasing themselves from it. Someone sees the truth of a situation. What's this Queen of Swords up to? I don't know. Six of Swords, yeah. So it's like someone's someone's moving forward. Someone's moving on, progressing, healing, and releasing themselves from something. It's like someone's 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 realized some type of lies or deception here. Somebody could have been indecisive about two individuals, or somebody here wasn't making a choice or a decision. What's this King of Cups doing? The Chariot moving forward, traveling, progression. Cancer energy, King of Wands, King of Pentacles. What is up with all this in seven? Of... Couple in the stars. Is this seven of wands reversed. Should have got a prenup. No. Um Someone here is money or their stability is not protected or someone's receiving a message here. Or someone's planning on dropping their guards. I don't know. Why are we doing this messy shit over the weekend? I don't get it. Is this what's going on in your life? Is this resonating with you guys? Yeah, seven of wands, seven of swords in reverse. I don't know. I get the sense that like someone here is not protected or someone doesn't have any defense. Like someone doesn't have a leg to stand on or someone, you know, and metaphorically speaking, it's like someone doesn't have anything to like say like or someone doesn't have a defense. It's like you're caught, you know, seven of swords in reverse. It's like you're caught. The truth is the truth is known. So go cry about it. I don't fucking know what to tell you, buddy. Ma'am, sir, whoever. <sighs> someone could even be getting divorced. Like if someone did marry for money, somebody figured that out, that somebody married them for money or you, however this goes, I don't know who did what, but Somebody may have realized like their partner married them for not for love. Okay. The four of wands, king of swords. It's like queen of swords. She's the one that realized something that, hey, there's no love here. This is only about stability. Maybe the moon, something here was hidden. The pentacles, nine of cups. So yeah, someone did something for self-serving reasons possibly. Or to help like bring balance into one's life. Like if someone didn't like necessarily marry for money, like, oh, this person gives me money, so I'm going to marry them. Someone may have like married because of some type of, they were gaining something from it, whether it was stability, assistance, help, uh, resources, assets. I don't know what it is, but somebody's realizing that it may be superficial. There's no love here. 
And somebody may be saying, look, I don't, I don't want to do this. I'm, gonna, I'm releasing myself from this and I'm going to move forward. I'm going to heal. And then it's like, It's just three of swords, the six of cups. So somebody could either regret betraying somebody from their past, someone they have children with. Somebody could be under judgment for something that happened in the past. Someone could be missing someone from the past, reconciling with someone from the past or someone they have children with. There's some type of a third party energy here. Someone here was playing to win five of swords, nine of wands, nine of swords. And now they're in deep regret for being flighty in and out trying to win at all costs being manipulative i don't know i'm done with this reading pisces uh what is pisces advice i don't know who you are or where you fit in this i don't even know if you do okay in the near future some of you this may be going down in the near future meditation brings answers and forgiveness so some of you guys and no need to worry some of you guys um don't have anything to worry about Forgiveness is needed. Some of you guys may need to spend more time in meditation or prayer, um, especially if you're seeking some type of answers here. Okay, I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope it helped. I hope it gave you clarity. If it did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.